So today I'm going to discuss about automatic. Uh, in the last session, what I discussed, uh, Mohan, you were not there, I think. Uh, yeah, madam, sorry. Last five days itself, I am suffering from fever. Oh, is it? Okay, fine. Okay. Are you okay? Ah, yeah, okay, ma'am. So in the last session, I discussed, Kiran, you're also not there in the last session, right? Yeah, there was a miscommunication, madam. Actually, I was waiting for 7.30 by the time, you know, you guys had logged in. So, no. Okay, no, I think you never, you never look at the messages. Is it, Kiran? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. Please look at the messages. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, I actually, if anything is changes, I just intimate before yeah, the, yeah. not immediately, I will never update. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I discussed in the last session, Shravan, what was the topic I discussed? Tell me, message me. Advanced payment, I told, right? Rahim, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, good morning. What was the topic, Rahim? Good morning. Advanced? Advanced. Oh, the last, the last, yeah, we discussed about uh, advanced payments. Yeah, yes, advanced, I, I discussed about the advanced, okay? Now I'm going to discuss about automatic payment program. What is automatic payment program? So till now we have seen that uh, we're making payment only for one invoice in F-53. Okay, suppose if your client has to pay number of invoices, whatever it is, like 100 invoices, 500,000 invoices, he cannot pay one by one by using F-53. So for this purpose, SAP has given uh, automatic payment program. Okay, so what is automatic payment program? So end user at his requirement, okay, he run, he run this uh, automatic payment program at regular intervals, depends on the requirement. So when he runs the APP, when the end user runs this APP, system automatically verify the due dates of invoices, okay, and automatically uh, clear the invoices of the vendor, automatically create the checks, automatically update the register, automatically clear the vendor invoices, everything will be done by the system automatically. Okay, so before that, as a FICO consultant, yes, we have to do a lot of configuration, then only the end user can able to run this APP program. Okay, so now what I do, uh, first let me discuss about as a FICO consultant, what is the configuration required from our side? So then we can discuss, then I mean, then we can run the APP from end user perspective. So as a FICO consultant, okay, we have to assign some programs here. Programs means actually we are into functional side. We don't aware of any programming knowledge, right? So what I have to do, I have to use the existing program programs which is available in the system. Actually in the real time, uh, some standard programs are not compatible with the uh, client requirement. In this case, the end, uh, with the help of ABAPers. Okay, with the help of ABAPers, uh, they develop uh, some programs. In this case, we have to use the customized programs. Okay, now here we can use the, whatever the programs are available, we can use it in the system. So in the real time, so it depends on the client requirement, the uh, APAPR will develop some programs, though in this case, we have to assign those customized programs. Okay, and uh, here we have to create the house banks. In the last session, we create the house bank. So for example, if, We have three house banks, say for example. I have three house banks. Okay, uh, first is uh, SBA bank I'm having and IDPA I'm having and uh, ICICA I'm having. And here in the SBA bank, he has, we have five lakhs rupees, whatever. And here we have two lakhs rupees. And here we, I have one lakh rupees. So here, when I'm doing configuration, okay, for APP program, so what we have to do, no? We have to, anyway, we have to create the house banks and also we have to give the available amounts with the house banks. So here SBI is having this much, okay, I given this house bank and also we have to give the ranking. Ranking means, suppose, 
since I'm having more amount in the SBI, first I want to use the SBI bank. Second, IDBI. Once IDBI amount is over, then it will go to the third. So when the end user run this APP program, system will take this amount sequentially. First, it will use the SBI amount. Once SBI amount is over, then it will go to the IDBA. Once it is over, then it will go to the ICC. But suppose when the end user are running the APP program, even though he is having amount in the SBI, he doesn't want to use that amount. He want to use some ICC amount. Yes, he can. He, he has an option to change that house banks also while he is running the APP program. Okay, while he's running the APP program, he can change the house bank. Whatever the house bank amount he want to use, yes, he can use that. Okay, but otherwise system use this sequentially. SBI, then IDBA, ICICA. Okay, so for this purpose, as if we, we this is our, our job, as a FICO consultant, we have to create the house banks and we have to give the house bank with available amounts and we have to give the ranking. So system use them sequentially. And or also, uh, end user has an option to use them. Uh, uh, whatever he wants to select, yes, he has an option to select at the time of APP program. And for this purpose, I have to create some sequential check logs. Sequen uh, in the last session, just for showing purpose, I created non sequential check logs. Actually, in the real time, also, we have to use the sequential check logs. So that is uh, more secure. Okay. So in the last session, just for to show you, I create the non-sequential check logs. But in the APP program, we have to use the sequential check logs because system has to issue them sequentially. So we have to create the sequential check logs. Okay. And uh, so next, we have to do some configuration for APP program. So it, it requires more configuration. Okay. So we'll see that one by one. Okay. I'm going to SP Argo. First, I have to create one payment method. I'm going to SP Argo. Financial accounting. Payable receivables. Vendor. Business transactions. Outgoing. Automatic outgoing payment here. Bank selection plan payment program. Here. Uh, we have to do configuration on four steps. These are all similar. The four step is here you can see payment method per country. Okay, this is the first step. Payment method per country. Okay, select this one. Select inventories. Okay. Country IN. Here, just only one character here you have to give. So you can view any alphabets or numbers, any special character also you can view. Okay, I mean, numbers means I can use zero to nine only, right? I used all of them in my system. 
and i think alphabets a to z also used almost everything i think those are not available let me try whatever it is available randomly i took something i will take something uh, let me try this okay and uh, because since i used all of them maybe it is not available or not i don't know when i save the data i can get to know that okay. and payment method so this here once you run the app program what is the payment method you want to use i mean i want to issue the check c h e c k actually in general we call c h e q u e but here sap standards they use uh, c spelling is c h e c k okay once i run this app app program i want to issue the checks to the vendor okay this then come down document type for payment here yes once you run the app program so vendor uh, invoices will be clear right once and vendor invoices is clear where those invoices will come under which document type we know we know kz kz, KZ ma'am right in general also we yeah. are using kz for vendor payment here also i want show okay. those invoices vendor clear payment under kz this is for document type for payment clearing document type what is clearing document type clearing document type means suppose this is what this is the s14 company code say for example this s14 company code okay it is paying another company code invoices those are under one group remember so this is now s14 company code the other uh, company code invoices this s14 is going to pay so in this case uh, those invoices of another company code where you want to update kz only if you want to show them specific document type you can use the specific document type or else you can use the kz it means what clearing document type means this company code paying invoices of another company code invoices in this case i want to use kz okay then come down so here payment medium program this is a form name for the print out remember okay so this is a standard one okay rf fo us underscore c what is this no this is pre determined ma'am yes 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 mohan these are the system defined i am okay just entering them but in the real time it may be different depends on the client okay, okay so did you have any expansion for rffs o u s what what uh, ain't it mohan what i didn't get you uh, any abbreviated form ain't no abbreviation no ma'am i am asking any abbreviation is there no no nothing okay. is there so the they defined okay. like that there is no abbreviation for that okay okay ma'am thank you or if underscore yes madam yeah madam yes kira a small clarification madam yes at the time of interview if uh -huh. if someone asks the question for the same thing what would be the payment uh, program default program can we say the same default program or uh, no, you can tell me use the customized program yes customized. you can say. Okay. use the customized programs if you ask what is a customized program you can you you can tell anything on your own because okay, okay. customized programs they, they don't, yeah, yeah they don't know what is the name right you can tell anything okay. yeah okay okay ma'am name of printed data set okay and name of printed data set list 1s list 1s this is the printer name and this printer name is also different from company to company okay so here since we are working on the practice server we are using this okay so this payment method let me save it maybe it is available yes s1 yes then here what i did here i specify the document type and form name for the print out print data set i have given okay then this payment method we have to assign to our company code here i didn't mention anything to my company code suppose in your client place 
not only S14, you will be having S15, S16, X17, company codes are there. This payment method you can assign to multiple company codes. Remember, this I'm not doing at any company code wise. Okay, so this I'm doing at client level. Remember, some configuration wise, which is at company code level means if you are giving company code and you are doing configuration means that is applicable only for company code. Here, I didn't give anywhere here at company code. I'm giving country level. Means IEN I have given. I didn't given any company code. Means this payment method I can assign to multiple company codes. Do you remember when I'm going to create the chart of accounts? Did I given any company code while I'm creating? No. I mean, what is that? I can assign that to multiple company. Physical, yeah, year, physical year variant also. When I'm creating, I didn't give anything. Okay, so that is means client level. That physical year, physical year I, I can assign to multiple company codes. So while you're doing practice, you can observe this is the configuration I'm doing at the company code level or client level. Client level means this is the one. I'm not specify any company code. It means this payment method I can assign to multiple company codes. Okay. So I'm going back. So here, set up paying company code for payment transactions. It means I'm assigning this company code to, I'm assigning this payment method to company code. Okay, new entries. See, here I'm giving company code. What is the company code? Right, here form. Form for the payment advice. Here, F110 underscore D underscore AVIS means what you know, what is payment advice note? Actually, before I clear the vendor invoices through APP program, I mean, before I clear the vendor invoices, first I will send him some advice note. First, I'll send the note to the vendor saying that these are the invoices of yours. This is the amount we are going to pay on this date. And these are the house banks we are going to use. These are the checks we are going to give. So we are sending some note intimation before you clear the vendor invoices through APP. If you want to send the intimation regarding the payment details, yes, we can send him. So through APP only we can send him notice. Okay, so this is a form name for the payment advice note. Okay, this is also system defined I'm using on the payment advice note. So what is the text you want to use? So on this payment advice note, so if you want to select different text you can use or else you can use the same text ID. So there are so many text available is there. I'll use the ST standard text. Okay, this is a text format. Okay, and these are all the, uh, we have to select the head, letter header of this advice note, F0001 underscore H-E-A-D-E-R and footer part. These are all re regarding to the payment advice note and uh, sender. Okay. So next, yes, these are all form names for the printout based on the selection you have given. The note will be there. The appearance on the text, uh, the appearance of uh, whatever the text, header part, footer part, it will be appear on your note based on the form names you have given. Okay, so then, yes, I maintain the payment advice note also, yes. Actually, yes, here, set up payment method. I create, actually, it's supposed to be second step, no problem, you can do anything also. So after creating first step, what I created, payment method. 
then that payment method here I am going to assign. Paying company code. Now I am assigning that payment method here. Greater than, ma'am. Yeah, greater than, right. Okay, greater than. Okay, if you want to specify the minimum amount of the invoice, see, there are some invoices, small invoices are there, 300 rupees, 400, 500. So you want to tell the system the minimum invoice amount should be 1,000. So then only system consider those invoices which are minimum 1,000. If there are 900 rupees invoices, no, system will not consider them in the FEP program by giving the minimum and maximum. You can specify the maximum also here. Okay. Then here you can uh, have option single payment and payment per due. Suppose if I select this checkbox, what happened, you know, uh, payment per due day. Suppose we have JK vendors, right? So for that JK vendors, I have 10 invoices that have to payable. Uh, for all 10 invoices, since he is the only one JK vendor, those invoices belongs to only one JK vendor. So I can issue only one check. If I select this system issue only one check for all 10 invoices of that JK vendor. Or else, suppose that JK vendor is, we are having 10 invoices with him, but since he's asked that uh, he needs some separate checks, for each invoices. In this case, if I select this checkbox, system will issue 10 checks for 10 invoices for him. Depends on the client requirement, either we select here or this one. So usually we select, go for this option, single payment for marked item. Sorry, this one, payment per due date. Depends on the requirement, we have to choose that, okay? Next, yes, form data, form for the payment medium. So here, this is the form name for the check printout. Okay, so this is the form name for the check printout. This is also according to the client or country specific requirement, SAP has given almost all the banks checks format. But it is, I, we cannot show this in the dummy server. In the real server, what happened, you know, we have the check format for different uh, house banks, which is given by the SA. For ICICI bank, it has given one check format. So everything is will be there. Okay, so this is the form name, whatever I available, it is there. I'm giving this check format. In the real done, we'll get so many uh, formats, okay? F110 underscore prenum PRENUM underscore CHCK. Okay, fine. Then, okay, on the check, yes, we'll have some who is a signature of the authorized person we have to mention, right? So, on the check, this is about on the check, okay? So, here I'm going to write the actually in the real time the authorized person signature, we can scan it and we can assign here. The original signature of the authorized person, we can scan and we can assign here. This signature, whatever I assign, so it will comes on, on the check, okay? So I'm using S14, say GM. So here I can write the signature of the, I can assign the signature of the GM of the company. So we can see this on the printout of the check. Okay, save it. So next, last one. Three steps I did. Set up all company codes. New entries, paying company code. Okay, here, sorry, company code, paying company code. 
what is this suppose here why we have to what is sending company code paying company code you know suppose s14 okay it is paying its invoices and also it is paying invoices of another company code suppose s14 is paying invoices of another company code okay so another company code is what say for example s15 it is paying s15 invoices okay in this case who is paying here s14 okay actual payment is done by who s14 who is sending s15 understood who is paying actually those invoices belongs to who s15 check is sending by the s15 to its customer but actual payment is doing by s14 so this is in case our comp this company code is paying on invoices of another company code we have to mention this sending company code is inter company code transactions understood actually paying by s14 but check is on the name of s15 so it is sending to its customers so sending is actually sending by s15 but actual payment is by s1 so is there any inter company code transactions the second company code come here understood any questions okay madam any further authorization is not required what sir any further authorization are not required when we, when, yes. when we are paying other company codes so transaction in, in uh, into our system uh -huh. just by by mentioning the other company code is enough for any further no, no, authorization sir, actually there is uh, one more uh, mm -hmm. when we go for sevo model we can see uh, if we are doing okay, another okay. company code transactions who okay. actually before that i have to update the document i mm -hmm. have to uh, tell the system okay. this is like, so many things are there sir in this case madam yes sir yeah sir. yeah, yeah Peter. a small doubt madam here uh, we have mentioned sending company code and paying company code for example uh, one customer is uh, tied up with the paying company code whereas you know we are uh, giving company code sending company code uh, how the customer, like uh, how the vendor would know about these payments? Like, I didn't get you, Kiran. Can you tell me? For example, yeah, for example, we have two company codes, like intercompany codes. One S1 sending S1. and S15. S15. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. one customer is uh, registered under S14. He's a, a vendor. 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 vendor of uh, S14. Yes. Whereas while uh, doing this APP, we are uh, giving uh, sending company code to. Are, uh, okay, yeah, this by company. company code too. Hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay. How, how this vendor came to know that this payment belongs to. Okay. Yeah. yeah, check is yeah. in the name. That's what I'm telling. So here, yeah. in check mm. here S15. What I'm telling? Okay, Same first clear. S15 means check is in the name of S15. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Check, it means sending by means check is on the name of send in company code S15. While he is going to S15 to his customers, he will get to you know this is payment done by the S15, but actual payment is done by the S14. Right, Kiran? Okay, okay. So then you can see you now, okay, check is in the name of S15 or S14, whatever you can understand. So okay. here sending means on whom the check is there, on whose name the check is there. That is the meaning. Okay? Okay. So here, yes, save it. Suppose, yes, S14 paying invoices of S15, but check is on the name of S14 only. Okay. okay. If check is on the name of S14 only, 
S14 only. Okay. So on, on which name this check is, we have to. So your conclusion is uh, how vendor will get to know which is, and of course we can intimate him, no? Manual also we can intimate. Otherwise you can see from the check calls. Okay. Are you clear, Kiran? Yeah, yeah. So I'm showing this is in S14. Suppose you're telling that in S15 company code, we have to do the same thing. Here I'll do the S15. Okay, you can do like that, the configuration part. Since I have only one company code, I can do this. If you have the S15, company code is S15. Okay, here, let me show you that also. Okay, now you, now, S15 company code. Okay, sending by whom actually? You tell me now. In S15, sending by S15, but actual payment is? S14. S14. Suppose sending also, I mean, check is also in the name of S14. Actually, whose invoices? Those are you can see here. Whose invoices? S15 invoices. Yes. Yes, sending by this and it Okay. So then this payment method, okay. Did I save it or not? This is company code, madam. Ah, yeah, I did. So, this payment method, okay, I have to assign to the house banks also and also have to assign to the mm, vendor sure. master. Okay, let me assign this to the vendor master first. If I want to create the vendor master XK01, yeah. if I want to do changes, go to XK02. Vendor, first give the company code. Uh, Dell, okay, our vendor is Dell. So here select these tabs. So if I select, by selecting this checkbox directly, I can go to the, those tabs directly instead of crossing all the tabs. If whatever I selected, it will display. I think it comes under correspondence tab. Not here, here, payment method. So here, first before that, Better. select from here also. Okay, so also I can check. Okay, save it. I assign this payment method into the vendor master and also I have to assign into the house banks also. We all Madam? Have, yeah. Here we are using XK02, that uh, creating vendor master. Uh, what about the T code FK01, madam? Huh? FK. FK01. FK yeah, one second. K01 means here in the live environment. Okay, so the FI consultant, I mean, FI consultant, he will use his vendor for FI vendors, he will use the FK01. FK01, here I'm giving anything here. Uh, let me show you XK01 also. What is XK01? The, here we can, the vendor is belongs to MM and also FI. He's doing FI purchase activities and the MM and activities, then we can use XK01. At uh, purchase organization, we have to be. Okay. Purchase organization is a part of MM. Suppose that vendor is only for the FI related transaction. So we can create that him, him okay. FK01. 
function clear, clear. Yes, we can use the fk01 okay so if the customer if the vendor is uh, doing both the activities means xk0 here we have we have to do purchase organization level purchase organization is a part of mn that we can see there how to create the purchase organization level okay we can see okay next yes i assign the payment method okay in the vendor master also then i have to assign this payment method into the house banks we already created house banks in the last session in fbzp remember this d code in fbzp whatever the configuration steps i did for for app program all i can do here in the same single method. whatever i did payment method assigning payment method so all these four steps i can see here okay and apart from that if you want to create the house banks also you can create from here i already created so that payment method greater than whatever i created that i can assign into the house bank in the single screen fbzp i can do all the configuration steps and also i can do the and we do house banks and assignment of payment method into the company position paying company code select new entry okay. currency i'm giving a ranking order one yes. so there are multiple house banks we can give the all the house banks and we can give the rank okay save it then go for bank accounts new new entries house bank payment method currency account id sub account what is a gl account created for sbi 2 lakhs 105 right this is the account we has we created for this so we have to give the 2 lakhs 105 save it next available amount we have to give the amount also new entries okay yeah can you please quickly join and wait 